So what's up, Pam Pow fans? In this blog, I'll be talking about Patty Mayo. I don't have permission to say anything about it, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's really hard to message this guy. So, this is his channel. This is a video I've been watching recently. This is his newest. And cross your feet together for me, please. Did you check his ID? I just checked ID. I didn't go through all of the other, other like credit cards and whatnot. You got your property back? What's that? You have your property back? And the track. I'll hold on to this. You still didn't tell me why you didn't get court, man. And that was his newest video. So this is his channel. And here's another channel of his. He has like two other channels. And his Bounty Hunter channel is right there. So I will put it in the description box down below. And you could check him out. Let me talk about his name, his YouTube name first. This is to my opinion. I know him for a fact his first name is Patrick, so that what Patty probably stands for. And mayo. You know a lot of people gotta love extra mayo on their sandwich. So or he just like mayonnaise in general. So what I would like to say, I don't want to sound like too rude or like too asshole or something, but I'm gonna say that I mean he First, when he, I mean, he used to be a prankster, an uber prankster, a beach prankster. I mean, he used to be a prankster, making prank videos on here. Then he got interested in bounty hunting. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, flip the script. So, I was like, wow, it, this completely changed. Just like how Ham Pow changed. Like, when I was younger, I was like making these funny like retarded videos and shit that's doing random stuff then I flipped the script and went to emergency response videos so it's like what the fuck it's like Cam Pow you were like cool and funny and shit now you're into that it's like oh okay I got you but recently I mean I've been watching every single video every like fr every night like he said, he releases a video once a day, and I'm like watching him because, I mean, I laugh. I mean, it's very funny. The kind of shit with the fugitives and how he interacts with them. And it's like, you know, you heard the series, Dog the Bounty Hunter. It's like, this is like a cheap, free version of Dog the Bounty Hunter. But Dog the Bounty Hunter is like more friendly and nice. Who's fugitive? He's like a fucking dickhead. It's like, let's time to get that asshole. This asshole, he cusses a lot. Every word he says is like, fuck, shit. Come on, man, what the fuck? And he recently got a partner, which a lot of people probably say, if you're gonna bounty hunt, make sure you have a group, not just two people or like at least five people because they always have your back so with bounty hunting one of my friends dad is a bounty hunter but he's a bounty hunter and he tells me there's like a, a team like five of them because these fugitives they do anything to not go back to jail trust me and with, with patty mayo in this scenario he needs he needs a group and I'm just need, I'm just saying that it would be cool if he was sponsored like a real TV sh series. His his YouTube series is Southland Bounty Hunters. I mean, it would be cool if they had like a team, like a sponsor team, like a camera crew, and have more people, and it would be like on TV, like ABC TV, because it would be cool, you know. But I'm not making decisions for his channel, I'm just giving him advice. If he sees this, I'm just giving you advice. And, and like, his new partner, Demar, 
don't know how to pronounce it, but he seems like the cool, chill, bat guy. Like, come on, man. You need to show up for court. Then, like, Patty, Patrick was like, you fucked! You've been fucking yes, and you got cream pie. Then, then, it was like, this one episode, there was like, um, he was like, you like this? I was like, I mean, if you have, if you have listened to last week's blog, you told I told you guys to take a look at his channel to see what I'm talking about. But you know, with Patty and Patrick, he's like he's like a dickhead to every fugitive. It's like don't give him the benefit of doubt, but that's his choice. If he wants to be a dickhead, then he does whatever he wants. But he seems like a cool person. I I mean, but not on camera, but. What he does is a bounty hunter because you don't want to give too much slack to the fugitives because they're assholes for not showing up for a court. So, for me saying that, I mean, I've seen a lot of fugitives around here because you recently down in the south, we had two escapees that killed a prison guard, a prison, two prison guards, and it was fucked up. And. I'll treat them like shit, though, two fugitives, because they're fucking assholes for killing law enforcement. So, with Patty Mayo, I mean, he's a cool dude. I mean, I think he's awesome what he does, and it's just, like, kind of kind of weird seeing, like, how he become, like, from a prankster to a bounty hunter. It's like flipping the scripts, you know? So, the only thing I like about this, I mean, it's entertaining, it's funny. I mean, Patty Mayo is a good channel. I mean, I recommend it to my fans because, I mean, it is like me and Hudson, my brother, we like watching like cops, we like watching bounty hunters, we like watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. I mean, we like those kind of things, like, seeing like fugitives get captured and it's like we've been fixated on that recently I've been fixated on this channel every day when he releases a new episode I get fixated on it it was like damn I just have a good time so for my advice for Patty Mayo is like be careful and be safe don't be an asshole don't be anything this is just advice and make the episodes longer. I mean, make the. I mean, make it longer, like a 30-minute episode. You know, not like 12 minutes, 11 minutes, like in that, etc. Because that's too short. So make it longer and cool. And these guys, they've bought an old Crown Vicks, like old police cars, deck it out like a cop car. And my one concern about that is like. You're not law enforcement, and you are not cops. So, and the best way, uh, he has like a Dodge Ram, like a, a single cab. It's like with one door, with two door. It's a two door truck, and that's a good truck to bounty hunt because people don't inspect. Like, oh shit, the bounty hunter is coming. So, my advice on Patty Mayo is that with that is get a, a four door truck. You could have the cage and anything in it for your safety, I get it. But don't get like a Crown Vic. And for DMAR, don't get like a one that says police or actually looks like a cop car, dude. Because if, a if I was a fugitive, oh, I'll run from any law enforcement. A Crown Vic, a Charger, a Tahoe, or something like that. Like, if I was a bounty hunter, I would be rolling in a Sierra, or a Yukon, or a Silverado, or like a Honda Civic, something that won't give it away, and have it pimped out. So for example, if I had my Yukon and I was a bounty hunter, I'll have, I'll have like rims on it, I'll have like halo LEDs on it, and I'll have all sorts of cool stuff in it. And because if you see me drive by, you don't know I'm a, if I'm a bounty hunter. You don't know. So the fugitives will just walk right past you. You pull up, grab, I got you. And that's what my thing about their vehicles. 
I mean, this is what I've been fixated on. This is my fat. This is what I've been fantasizing recently in the two days, and I've been fantasizing a lot of crazy shit. What we're doing this summer. So here's another update about Ham Pal. We're busy. We're gonna be busy for the next couple weeks. So if we don't have a blog up right away, there will be a week blog, but. It will be taking some time because we're busy and we love making videos and stay tuned and if you have any topics you want me to talk about feel free to put them in the description box down below or in the comment section down below and I'll, I'll answer it. Make sure it's cool but badass and it's awesome. So check this dude out and thanks for watching. Peace.